Today we're going to talk about lead rolls, kind of like a lag roll. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so let's say um, we're doing a head-on pass, and at our closest point of approach, we're really tight. Doesn't look like uh, we're going to be able to do a button hook and keep our nose on the target. So we're going to figure out how to do a course reversal to get pointed back at our enemy uh, as quickly as humanly possible. So how are we going to do this? Okay, well a lag roll uh, normally you do when you have high closure and your target is going more or less the same direction as you. Uh, for a head-on pass, your velocity vectors are opposite of each other, so uh, you're going to have to do kind of a more aggressive maneuver. Now, the biggest thing with this maneuver is you're sacrificing a lot of speed uh, to basically turn around faster than the other guy. So uh, use this with caution. And I always say before this one, you need to check your radar. So that's like actually step number one. Uh, check radar, you know, uh, kind of take a mental inventory. Hopefully you're building situational awareness and uh, you know if there's anybody else in the area. And then look at who you're fighting. If, they're, if you're in a Hornet and they're in an M50, this might be bad because they're probably going to beat you to the punch no matter what you do. So uh, a um, arcing zoom during which you fire back might be a better option. But All right, so check radar. And then uh, at the CPA, remember how with a lag roll you roll into and strafe away? Well, for this one you're going to roll into and strafe into all simultaneously and it's going to be a very fast very crisp uh, maneuver and uh, it takes a lot of practice uh, to get right and you're rolling so that you're uh, pulling a lot of G's in this one the rolling helps offset that because you're shifting the direction of the G's and also you're turning around quickly so you can put most of the G's uh, longitudinally which don't uh, longitudinal G's don't cause a blackout or red out so all right check radar and then I'm going to strafe into and roll into all right and then i'm going to put my pips on target now we're going to say this platform is our enemy here and uh we're going to have to kind of use our imagination for this one so we're, oh, major lag wow okay so that's our enemy let's say you know they're moving kind of this way as we approach them so they're doing head-ons they're moving left to right and uh this is going to be kind of weird because the, the platform is stationary, so it's not going to work exactly like it's supposed to. In fact, there's a good chance that I'll hit the platform as I turn around. But that should kind of just sort of show you how tight you can do this turn when you do it this way. So let's say the platform is heading towards the station. So if I roll out and I'm going towards the station, I know that I did it right, and I'd probably be uh, aiming at him, going towards him, and most likely he didn't do as aggressive of a turn, so he'll still be turning around, giving me a nice uh, bit of profile for me to take my uh, to take my guns onto. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a skidded attack here. Alright, so I'm on a left skid attack. He's going to go left to right, and here we go, and I'm going to use boost heavily. Whew. So, you can see I went straight past the pat platform there, um, you know, because it wasn't moving. But if it had been moving past me, I'd be, like, right on the guy's 6 or 8 or something like that as he turns. So, let me try it again. That was, that was pretty decent. I don't know if I can do it that well again. Uh, this one takes a lot of practice, and I'm still working on it myself. All right, so remember, roll into and strafe into simultaneously. Use boost liberally. I'm in a skidded attack. Generally, you're going to go in the direction opposite your skidded attack. So here we go. So that's it. And I was forward strafing too. Um, if you don't have throttle, if you're not using throttle, like I stopped using throttle recently. So um, that's what it looks like. So I would start out practicing this in free flight like I am right now, getting the muscle memory down and then move on to Vandal Swarm. Vandal are great to do this against, but kind of like the platforms they don't move as fast as players do so it might be a little weird you might do one of these and end up like really close to them and have to do another one uh so uh be ready for that and then against players this works great uh so you know everybody always asks how do i fight a joust this is one of the ways to do it for sure now i want to reiterate that this probably shouldn't be your primary go-to move this is in very specific situations because you get really state. You saw how tight I turned there. Well, if my turn is tight, then I'm pretty much getting close to not moving for like a second or two. So you need to make sure nobody's firing at you and that the per the target that you're firing 
is basically not good enough to do this against you too because you're both going to be very vulnerable uh, against each other. But I think like the primary thing you should do is like kind of a rolling button hook if you can. So if you get your skidded turn in good enough or your skidded attack in good enough, you'll have enough distance at your CPA that you can kind of keep your guns on target and then sort of go into like this circling orbit thing. And uh, very few players can keep up with this sort of thing. So, um, And then as you make passes, you can sort of uh, just reboom in, resume in, that kind of thing. So, Ooh. Right, so next you're going to try in some Vandal Swarm. I'm going to try it here and see how I do. Uh, <laughs> so remember, uh, the Vandal, they kind of don't joust the same way humans do. They usually go in like this kind of arcing turn thing so this might be a little bit weird but we'll see what happens i'll try to get one of their attentions so they go towards me sort of no that's not going to work i need a head-on pass here it is so i'm going to strafe in two and roll in two and then right like that that's pretty much how you do it all right so that one was kind of off the cuff i didn't really have time to explain as i did it so like i said this isn't really made for anything other than a head-on type situation so i can't really do it right here but let me see if he'll turn toward me. There he is. All right, so I'm going to get some distance from him. And then I'm going to skid an attack into him. And then as we pass, I'm going to straight into two. Ooh, close on the G's there. Now I'm, like, right on him. So I think the first one was a better example. But, oh, that lag. All right. Oh, lucky shot. Zero hostile contacts remaining. Come on, buddy. Point at me. Point at me. Come on, you know you want to. So let me try this again. And I'll, I guess I'll try to prove that I can do it the other direction. You can tell I have tendencies. Uh, so I'm going to do a skidded attack the other direction. And then I'm going to roll and straight. I hit it right that time. That's how you do it. And this is just a normal lag roll. Strafing outside of my turn. Ooh. I think I just got ran by Randall. Awesome. Oh, don't kill all of them. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Alright, set up my skidded attack. Ready on the countermeasures button. Because we got little king. Watch out for the asteroids when I do the maneuver. Roll in two and strafe in two. Good boost. And into a skidded. There we go. Little king's on. Whoa! Goodness, that was a good missile shot, little king. All right, head on attack, skidded attack, roll in two and strafe in two. Don't black out. There he is, right in front of me, like predicted. Sometimes that seems to happen. I'll like gray out, completely lose them, and then they're right in front of me when I do this maneuver. So having a feel for where they're going is definitely uh, important. So. Roll into straight from two. And the faster you roll, the like better your chances are of avoiding what just happened to you there. Right. So in a hornet, because you know, want to show people that you don't have to be in the gladius to do it. So I just keep in mind, guys, that. 
The only time I ever fly the Hornet is for these videos, so not that great with it. But, uh, here, let's see. This guy should come towards me. Yeah! Right off the bat. It's hard to get head-on passes sometimes. Alright, so, uh, here we go. Got my skid attack. Man, this thing is a hog. Alright, get a little, a little action here. Oh, it definitely feels different. Alright, so, roll in tune, straight into that. And look at that. See, I'm right where I need to be. My aim sucks, but... He has no idea. Maybe he just... I don't know, maybe he's just having issues or something. Because <laughs> he still isn't pointed towards me, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but... Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, cross section. Gotta evade these first. Oh, shizzle. Oh, shizzle. Gotta evade these mofos. Done. Done. Alright, now let me back up so that I can get a. Uh... Oh, maybe those did hit me. I don't know how I took that damage. Maybe doing this in the horn would be a good idea. Alright, who wants to head on past me? Maybe yeah, I can get this guy to do it. There he is. Come on. Come on. Come at me. No! Damn you. some of these asteroids to get some more distance. <laughs> that was dumb. Street material. 